Alrighty, folks, if you want to find your way to your seats, we're going to begin right away. I want to say good morning to everybody and welcome to Inclusion Saskatchewan's 13th Annual Inclusion Breakfast. It's good to be here this morning. It's great for me to be here again this year. My name is Matt Young from CTV. I want to thank you for taking time to be here this morning in support of Inclusion Saskatchewan's mission on behalf of people who have intellectual disabilities. We have some notable guests with us here at Prairie Land Park this morning, including Senator Brent Cotter. Mayor Charlie Clark is also here. We're happy to have uh, Police Chief Troy Cooper with the Saskatoon Police Service and Assistant Chief Yvonne Raymer from the Saskatoon Fire Department also here today. And we have guests joining us for the live stream of this event from all across the province. We welcome all of you here and we have an amazing program for you today. To start off our event, it is my pleasure to welcome the Lieutenant Governor of Saskatchewan who will offer greetings on behalf of the Crown. Good morning everyone. Thank you for supporting the 13th Annual Inclusion Breakfast. I am speaking to you from Government House in Regina, which is in Treaty 4 territory and homeland of the Métis. I am grateful to the organizers for offering the live streaming option again this year so that people throughout the province can join in this special event. It is a privilege to serve as honorary patron of Inclusion Saskatchewan, which has been providing crucial services in our province for 67 years. To the Board of Directors and staff, thank you for your compassion and commitment and for honoring the legacy of this life-changing organization. I applaud Inclusion Saskatchewan's mission of ensuring that everyone feels valued, supported, and included. Everybody has something to contribute to their family and community, and diversity enriches all of our lives. To those who receive services from Inclusion Saskatchewan, you make our world a better place simply by being you. You are seen and valued, and we are grateful for your gifts and abilities. To the family members, thank you for your loving support. Your role as caregivers can be demanding. Always remember, you are not alone. Thanks to the sponsors, donors, and everyone taking part this morning for assisting Inclusion Saskatchewan with its important work. In closing, I am pleased to bring greetings on behalf of His Majesty King Charles III, King of Canada. In the spirit of reconciliation and friendship, I will also share these greetings in my first language of Woodland Cree. Thank you, and please enjoy the breakfast. Thank you, Your Honor, for those kind and inspiring words of welcome. Now I am delighted to introduce Inclusion Saskatchewan's Executive Director, Kim Hag. Thank you, Matt. I want to thank His Honor, the Lieutenant Governor, for his inspiring greetings and for being an honorary patron of Inclusion Saskatchewan. I just wanted to also announce that there is going to be time to have breakfast here shortly, so um, I know we're hungry, but you will have time here in, in the next few minutes or so. So thank you all for being here at the Inclusion Breakfast with us. You inspire me as the Executive Director of Inclusion Saskatchewan. Some of you are here today because you know someone who experiences an intellectual disability, and that person inspires you. Or you're here because someone else you respect invited you. If you don't yet know someone with a disability, I bet that after this breakfast, you will encounter someone and that person will inspire you too. Inclusion Saskatchewan was founded 67 years ago by parents like Dr. John Dolan, who wanted a good life for their children. Today, Inclusion Saskatchewan is shaped by the thoughts and goals of people who have disabilities and serves thousands of people from birth until the end of their lives. We help people overcome barriers in all areas of life, from education to housing to health care. We change systems so that everyone can be included. I am very proud of our team, whose passion and hard work make all of this possible. I want you to know that the generous people like you help us make inclusion real. 
Last year, we supported 2,600 people and grew our family network by 12%. We did this without as much funding from our Yellow Bin Clothing Recycling Program as prior to the pandemic. Thank you for donating to the Yellow Bins. In addition, we want to recognize some very special friends of Inclusion of Saskatchewan today. The Murray and Audrey Newfeld Family Charitable Foundation. Mark and Tim Newfeld, would you please come up on stage and Mark and Tim have a very special announcement to make. Thanks for the introduction. So this is my brother Mark and I'm Tim and we're on behalf, here on behalf of my parents' uh, family foundation, the Marie and Audrey Newfeld Foundation. Last year was the first time attending this event and we were um, brought on here actually by uh, a fellow ambassador uh, that's sitting with us at our table today. So it's great to be here with you all this morning. So the Marie and Audrey Newfeld Foundation is, was set up by my parents and my two older brothers participate as well in distributing funds to causes and organizations in our province and throughout Canada. So we wanted to be here this morning to present a check for $30,000 to Inclusion Saskatchewan to, for them to co contribute their great work that they do here. So. Thank you, Mark and Tim. <clears throat> the Murray and Audrey Family Charitable Foundation's generosity leads the way and makes a difference for individuals with intellectual disabilities and their families in this province. We now invite you all to please join us in our mission to ensure that people with intellectual disabilities in Saskatchewan are valued, supported, and included and have choices and opportunities in all aspects of life. Let's listen to self-advocates tell us why inclusion matters. Well, when I first uh, came to the Inclusion of Saskatchewan, I was a little bit nervous when I first came. I stood up by the door for a long time by the entrance, and I didn't want to go in there because like, it took me about five minutes to look inside and then as soon as when there's someone I see I'll go in there and I'll talk to them and make new friends. When I got involved with the Inclusion Saskatchewan to the ICANN program and it's been really good. I have been working with the Self Advocacy Network and um, I also promote inclusion tours. I can. We have um, we have um, meetings. We have functions. We have we go to the park. We have speakers to teach us about certain topics. At I can, we talk about issues that we're having, and we get ideas on how to make them better. Inclusive means. When I'm included in activities with other people, it helps me feel good when other people include me. Like, like including, like, for me, I'm involved with the union at the University of Regina. I am involved with the ambassador program at the University of Regina. And they look past my disability, and that makes me feel included to other activities and stuff like that. In ICANN, like, the conferences and not, like, I like to make new friends, step up uh, for myself and talk about what's going on in my life and helping other people. Inclusion means um, being self-worth, being, be part of a team, and to be inclu inclusion also means 
to show others out there that we are people, that we can work, we can work with, uh, work, be, work and play and, and, and be like everybody else. I can stand up for myself and I can help other people. Inclusion means like getting stuff that you want, being involved in community, being out and active, and that's pr pretty much sums it up. It makes me feel awesome. It makes me feel that I have something good in my heart and that I'm doing some good. Inclusion, it's life changing. Thanks to Kathy, Jordan, Dylan, Robert, Jamie, and all our ICANN team members. Hearing from these amazing self advocates is a highlight of this event for me. The ICANN program celebrates abilities and teaches leadership and self advocacy skills. By the way, you probably noticed some nice, colorful artwork at your table there, at your seat. Well, the art on your table was created by Robert K., one of the self-advocates featured in the video. Let's give him a hand for that. <laughs> Alrighty, folks, well, the sun is finally starting to rise, so let's take a moment, let's eat some of our breakfast, enjoy some of the conversation at your table, and we will continue the program in just a few moments. Alrighty folks, hope you've had an opportunity to enjoy some of the food at your table this morning. Uh, in the interest of time, we are going to continue with the program. I uh, again uh, encourage you to continue to partake of the food at your table today and, uh, and enjoy meeting everyone. Uh, but I'm going to take some time and welcome Blusette Campbell, President of Inclusion Saskatchewan, to share with you our vision of inclusion. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for coming today to hear about some great work that Inclusion Saskatchewan has been embarking on this year. I appreciate that you have all come today and that our inclusion ambassadors have taken the initiative to rally a table or tables of people to join them in witnessing the inspiring aura this breakfast creates. There was a time not so long ago that individuals that Inclusion Saskatchewan supports now were not seen or heard. They were treated as less than whole and not worthy of participating in society. There was shame in having a child with a disability and so they were left hidden. That is no longer our narrative. Parents and community advocates like John Dolan have repeatedly stood up for what they knew deep down to be just. We know individuals with intellectual disability are whole, not broken, are worthy, not less than, and deserving of human rights. We have worked hard over many decades to arrive where we are today. And yet we all know that all individuals are not completely valued, supported, and included in all aspects of their lives. And so we still exist today as an organization furthering our mission and vision of the future that we know is possible. We've had some incredible wins in the disability movement. The Canada Disability Benefit is a prime example. What an amazing piece of framework legislation. Inclusion Saskatchewan is eager to assist our provincial government as we figure out how to deliver this benefit. Congratulations to you, Senator Cotter, 
in sponsoring such groundbreaking legislation in Canada. <laughs> Employment across our country is hungry for workers and individuals with disabilities are starting to be seen as valued contributors to our economy and our society. These wins will not be forgotten, but I can assure you, Inclusion Saskatchewan will not settle for only these milestones. The challenges that remain are plentiful. Exclusion in our school classrooms after the pandemic has set us back from reaching our goal of quality, inclusive education. Safe and affordable housing options are an exception rather than the rule for the individuals we support. Inclusion Saskatchewan is an advocacy organization that aims to change systems. We also support individuals and families in advocating for themselves, which create positive outcomes based on their unique circumstances. We are experiencing increasing demands for individual advocacy. Individuals with intellectual disability are faced with challenges as the cost of living rises, as housing options decrease, and as the systems get more complex to navigate. We continue to support individuals to strengthen families and form partnerships ensuring that these systems are accessible and relevant to the changing needs of the people of Saskatchewan. In order for us to do our work, we need resources. We need a collective group of people that believe in the same thing we do. that all individuals are valued as human beings, are supported in reaching for what they want, and that we all exist in an inclusive community together, not as us and them. You are that collective group of people, and the people that you brought here, and the people that you know. You are here because you too see the vision of an inclusive community. This morning, you will hear and see some of the amazing things that can happen when we are able to carry out our mission. Lean into these stories and listen to what your heart has to say about the value of inclusion in our province. And with that, I, I now yield my time and I'd like to bring up Senator Brent Cotter and his daughter Kelly to the stage. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Kelly and I have been associated with Inclusion Saskatchewan for probably a dozen years or more, and I think it's fair to say that it has inspired us and made our lives significantly more fulfilled. Um, today, um, Kelly, we're going to talk about the law that commits the Government of Canada to establishing a Canada disability benefit. It was quite a thing in June. And I think it's fair to say from my point of view that Kelly and Inclusion Saskatchewan on a weekly basis made sure that people like me knew how important this Canada disability benefit would be. Uh, in a tip of the hat to the lawyers in the audience, we're going to do this as a bit of a cross-examination. Kelly will mostly ask me <laughs> questions and I will try to answer them. So what questions do you have about all of this, Kelly? Well, Dad, uh, why was this law needed in the first place? Well, Kelly, as you probably know, a large number of working age Canadians with disabilities are not very well off, and perhaps as many as 25% live in poverty. And provincial help across the country is usually inadequate. So the federal government promised, and all of the political parties agreed unanimously, and all of the Senate and senators where I work 
that Ottawa needed to put in place additional support so that hopefully no one with a disability would live in poverty and they can make life choices like everyone else. Any questions after that? Oops. Okay. How much will the Canadian Disability Benefit be and who will get it? This is a very good question, Kelly. It was agreed that this would be worked out in partnership with the disability community. How much, who will qualify, how will it be paid, how to appeal if you don't agree with the amount of your disability or if you got cut off, how it will fit with provincial programs like SED and those sorts of things. But when, sorry, but when? I well, the government said it would take about a year to get the benefit in place, but I've, if I were to guess uh, next fall, so now I have a question for you. What do you think can be done to help this along? I would say keep on the pressure to advocate by organized like, organizations like Inclusion Saskatchewan and Inclusion Canada got us this far, but we not, but we are not across the finish line yet. And so we need to let Ottawa know that the benefit is crucial. crucial and it is for hundreds of people, hundreds of thousands of Canadians with disabilities. Can I ask you one final question, Dad? Who do you think deserves the credit for getting the Canadian disability benefit so far? To be honest, I think it's people like you who have been self-advocates, Inclusion Saskatchewan, a powerful voice on this question, and dozens of other organizations that have made the argument that this benefit will help people who are in desperate need in some circumstances, and parliamentar parliamentarians also who saw that message and heard it. The biggest champion in Parliament was the Minister for Disabilities, Carla Qualtro, but everyone was on side, which is really a great message. Uh, and once they heard your message, they all became part of it. I got to be a part of it, but the applause really needs to be for you, for all of you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Give me five. In March, Tyson got hired for this position, and um, all I knew was that he was in the training process. We just facilitated the process. We sped up the process of his training, right? So we got through the, the theoretical part of his training, so filling out some booklets, we got that done, right? Tyson did that independently, but we kind of helped push the process forward. What we did was that um, I followed up every few weeks at first, right? Then every couple of months, and then afterwards I realized that uh, I'll check in maybe every three, four months, and then after that it just got less and less and less over time, simply because I knew that like this is going smoothly. When I first got here, and they tell you, people, all the employees were so welcome, and they were, you know, take some, you know, they were teaching, showing me the ropes, how to work deep fry, and how to cut onions and stuff. And they've been patient with me, and you know, they've been showing me what I do long, you know, and what I'm doing light. Tyson is a very good worker. Um, the first time I met Tyson, um, I see to him that he really likes to work with, uh, with people. Uh, Tyson is a prep slash cook, so he's doing uh, our prep. And in the, middle of the, in the middle of the lunch rush, if it gets busy, he is our prior person. To be honest, I went to NW to get to understand how work in doing the work environment you know, I do understand how everybody else works because I've been told work is a big part of life and I mostly went to NW just to, you know, get to experience what it's like to work a part-time job and see how it goes and maybe in the far, far future I might try to give me a good experience for the next job. Uh, I believe that uh, the way that it's impacted Tyson's life is that he's been able to move on to another phase in his life. It also has given him 
a sense of confidence, right? It's given him additionally like some experience on his resume. I would say uh, not to hesitate to hire a uh, person with like full disabilities like Tyson. And I believe that it will work out as long as we are, we are, we love, you know, what we're doing and we, um, we, we show to this person that they, how valuable they are in this society. What would it mean to be a part of something that's bigger than all of us and hopefully be a part that makes the system better and hopefully help people, you know, help make people feel better? So I think for Ben, starting grade seven, um, th things things were difficult. He was in a new school, and we were we were struggling. I was struggling. My mom had died, and everything was coming at him. And that's when kids start being kids, and they pranked him a few times and they were mean and he became scared of so many things that he had never been scared of before. And you're used to going to meetings where it was Ben and I and then a table full of staff from the school. And he didn't always feel as though they were on his team. And when we added Barb, it reaffirmed for him that he had his own team of people supporting him. When I started the position, um, it, it, it just unfolded on its own because I wasn't really sure what families would, would want or what schools uh, teams would, uh, would want. So it was just, I started out just meeting with families and I did a lot of listening and sometimes that was enough or, um, attending meetings with them just to be an extra set of ears and and that little boost of confidence. Barb came onto our team and and she was always there taking notes reminding me and the school you know okay we said we'd do this and if I couldn't say what I was hoping for she she would back me up <laughs> and and would back up the school as well like it wasn't just and, and we knew that she's, she's team Ben, she's not team Stang, she's not team school, whichever school, she's team Ben and she's just wanting to help them have the best experience. I usually don't like dealing with mean people because it just makes me confused, not know what to do. You know, I got picked on in grade seven and eight and I had depression and I felt worthless, I felt bad about myself and but two years later I I just kept pushing myself and pushing myself and right now I'm really happy. I feel a lot better about myself. Anything's possible moving forward and there are so many families and so many students that could um, benefit from just an, an extra person on their team cheering them on and so um, I think the more families, the more students, the more schools that we can um, assist, it's, it's, only it's only better for everybody. Having that local person I think has been key, that consistency someone that knows not just my son, but the community at large and, and can give ideas when I'm tired. I feel like without Barb, there, there could have been other paths that might not have been as rewarding. And school can be so hard and it can feel so threatening. 
And when you know that there's somebody there advocating just for your child, it means everything. So if any of you have depression, just know that it may take some time for it to go away, but I'm pretty sure if you find the right people, it might go away. So never give up your hope. My name is Alejandro Murieta Aspiaski, and I have a younger brother with a disability. My journey started when I got involved with the Sisters of Saturn by attending the Sibling Workshops. When I was 14, Tim Haig invited me to testify as a youth ambassador on the Inclusions of Saturn Board of Directors. Recently, I've also been a peer facilitator at the Sibling Workshops. These have been great learning experiences. Inclusion is something that we learn from each other through our relationships. If everyone had a brother with a disability, we'd all relate. But inclusion can be learned through other ways too. In primary school, I remember noticing a girl all alone on the school grounds. I was concerned and I wondered, is she choosing to be alone? I asked my mom and she suggested I go play with her. I did this and I made a new friend. This act was transformational for me. It made me realize that she was being excluded and that I could make a difference. I have discovered there are many ways I can make a more inclusive future here in Saskatchewan. One way is by being on the board of directors. The most effective thing I can do is speak with friends who don't have a personal connection to someone with a disability. I can help create that connection through my brother. I can't force it. I can only invite people to get to know him. <laughs> to me, inclusion is an action. It means creating a world where everyone is valued and has something to contribute as a human being. By including others, we gain people in our lives. To create an inclusive future in Saskatchewan, we must make and create an understanding in society, a belief that everyone has value. And we can all participate by including people with disabilities in jobs and in schools. For long-term change and to reduce prejudice, we should start learning about inclusion at an early age. It should be part of the curriculum, like the way we teach about truth and reconciliation. We are all human. We all live and we all die. We all share this earth. Inclusion is what happens when we notice one another, believe we have value, and get along with each other. Allow me to borrow from Martin Luther King's famous speech. I have a dream. I dream of a world that includes. That is the world I want to live in. It should be natural, accepted by everyone, but it requires action. It is urgent that we act now because rights are violated when we don't do anything. I am deeply encouraged and grateful that you are all here. You are part of the solution. Thank you. Thank you, Senator Cotter, Kelly, Alejandro, and also Tyson and Ben, who were featured in our videos. And folks, I think let's take some time to recognize all of those who shared a story either in person or by video this morning.
Now I would like to welcome Knowlton Nipple, a member of the board for Inclusion Saskatchewan, to explain why he volunteers for and supports Inclusion Saskatchewan. Thank you, everyone, for all your great stories this morning. Uh, hello, my name is Knowlton Knipple, and I'm on the board of directors at Inclusion Saskatchewan. I've been involved at Inclusion Saskatchewan since attending a breakfast uh, three years ago, virtually, but attending a breakfast nonetheless. I volunteer my time in support of uh, my 19-year-old nephew, Evan. Evan has autism. He's a busy guy these days, Having graduated from high school and moving on to post-secondary studies at Sask Polytech uh, while holding down a part-time job at Community Living. Evan and I both love music and Evan has recently taken up the electric guitar. We get to play together once in a while but it's pretty tough to fit in with his busy schedule these days. Evan's quiet courage and determination uh, as he navigated his way through elementary and high school, inspired my wife, Anna, and I to contribute to Inclusion Saskatchewan. We are very proud of Evan, the young man he has become, and his achievements so far. His achievements were possible because of Evan's perseverance, uh, the love and encouragement of his family, and the tremendous support from Talha and the amazing team at Inclusion Saskatchewan. He has faced a lot of challenges for a young man of 19 years, but he's done so always with grace and always seems to find the good in everyone. Over the past three years, I have been continually inspired by the fearless community of leaders at Inclusion Saskatchewan and their decades of tireless advocacy and the passion everyone brings each day to advocate with and for those who have so many talents and gifts to contribute if they're simply given a chance and are, in a word, included. Today you've heard the Inclusion Saskatchewan story and met some of our wonderful people. And it's my privilege to ask you to make an, an, a financial investment to support our day-to-day -day operations. Your support today will ensure that Inclusion Saskatchewan will be there for people tomorrow. We hope you will consider making a personal contribution. Individuals with intellectual disabilities rely on Inclusion Saskatchewan for support at various times during their lives, and the number of people we serve keeps growing every year. Systemic change can sometimes take 10 years of hard work to become a reality. Our Inclusion Champions give us the ability to meet that growing need. Inclusion champions make multi-year pledges that help us to change lives and communities for the long term. Please consider becoming an inclusion champion. So right now, we have a special announcement with Candace Case, a senior advisor at TD Wealth Saskatoon. Please join me at the podium. Thank you, Knowlton, and good morning, everyone. We appreciate each of you being here to support Inclusion Saskatchewan, an incredible organization that works tirelessly to ensure that people in Saskatchewan with intellectual disabilities are valued, supported, and included members of society, and who have opportunities and choices in all aspects of life. As you have all seen and heard this morning, the work that Inclusion Saskatchewan staff and volunteers do is remarkable. They are making a difference in creating wonderful opportunities in the lives of individuals with disabilities and their families. Some of the words from the self-advocates uh, that stood out to me this morning were self-worth, doing good, and feeling awesome. Like that, just those words just really stuck with me. And so it's important that you support today to be able to create, you know, the Team Benz and the Team Tysons and make all of that possible. So I'm happy to announce that TD once again is proud to support this change-making work in Saskatchewan. 
with a challenge gift to encourage multi-year donations. We are so confident in the mission of inclusion Saskatchewan that we have increased our challenge gift this year to $15,000. We encourage you today to make a multi-year pledge. TD will match gifts during this event that are first payments of a multi-year donation up to $15,000. For example, if you pledge $500 per year, for three years, TD will match the first $500. On behalf of TD, we are pleased to present Inclusion Saskatchewan with this check for $15,000. Please make sure we match it today. Well, thank you so much, Candice and TD. Uh, so now is your chance to become an inclusion champion and make the most of TD's generous challenge gift. Let's give them another round of applause. Thank you, TD. Thank you. Okay, so at this time, your table host will hand you an envelope containing a donation card. So we'll start handing those out. And I will walk you through the options on the donation card. And for those joining online, please use our donation page at inclusionsk.com backslash breakfast. That's inclusionsk.com backslash breakfast. Okay, there are many ways to make a difference. So we can start at the top left of the card. Uh, the inclusion champion pledge levels give you a sense of what your contribution can do. You can help us build hope by making a thousand dollar donation each year. That's about $83 per month, which would help us to support a family in our family network. Or you can help us inspire change by making a $5,000 contribution each year, which would support our decision-making tools for self-advocates. Or you can help us create opportunity by making a $10,000 gift a year, and that gift at that kind of level will uh, support systemic change projects like inclusive housing. You can offer a pledge to Inclusion Saskatchewan in your own way. Uh, TD Bank, as Candace said, will match the first donation of an annual multi-year pledge of any amount made here today and your contribution will go toward the unrestricted operating funds of Inclusion Saskatchewan. There's other choices as well. With a monthly contribution, you can join our given, Giving Every Month Society, or GEMS, and we can accept credit cards for automatic monthly payments. Just so you know, we recognize all of our Inclusion Champions and GEMS in our annual report and on our donor tree displayed at our Saskatoon office. You also have a choice uh, to make a one-time contribution of any amount right now. For example, if you'd like to make a one-time gift of $1,000, just write in $1,000. Just that easy. If you're already an inclusion champion or a gem and wish to renew or expand your pledge, Please indicate so in the next section. We are so grateful for your ongoing support. If you have any questions or ideas, such as an employee giving program, just uh, check the please contact me box and we will contact you. Uh, just so you're aware, for guests at Prairie Land today, please note that all gifts will be receipted for $22 less than the gift and that's to account for the cost of the food per CRA regulations. I'll give you some time now to finish filling out your cards and when you're finished, please pass your envelopes back to your table host.
Yeah, I know that many of you are still writing, but I'd, I'd like your attention for just a moment. Whatever gift you've chosen to make today, we thank you on behalf of the people we serve. We truly appreciate that you took the time to be here this morning to learn more about Inclusion Saskatchewan and the power of inclusion in the lives of the people that we serve. Your generosity and support will help us sustain and enhance the services and programs of Inclusion Saskatchewan. So now I'll turn the program back to Matt to wrap it up. Thank you very much there, Knowlton, and uh, thank you, Candice, for your TD Challenge gift today. And thanks to all of you for joining us this morning. First, I want to thank the members of the ICANN team. Thank you, ICANN, for sharing your abilities with us. I would like to also thank all our table hosts here in the hall and our inclusion ambassadors all across the province for joining us through the live stream. Without you, I don't think we'd be able to hold an event like this, an important fundraising event. Uh, table hosts, please uh, take the beautiful floral centerpieces that were donated by Saskatoon Co-op as our gift. A big hand again for all our table hosts and ambassadors today. Next, we, we do want to thank our champion sponsor, TD. We could not host this event without TD and all the generous sponsors. TD's challenge gift over the past eight years has made a huge, huge difference. And let's make that TD challenge count this morning by making a multi-year gift. We're th thankful for Connexus Credit Union, whose Transformer sponsorship supports our work in Prince Albert and the North Central region of Saskatchewan. And in addition, we want to thank our Changemaker sponsors as well. Interstate Batteries, I want to thank you for giving us a boost. There you go. McDougal Golly, thank you for defending inclusion for all. And Sastel, thank you for keeping us all connected and being a loyal sponsor of this event. We want to recognize our advocate and friend sponsors as well, logos on the slide, who have uh, underwritten the cost of this event, Victory Majors. Thanks for lighting up River Landing in honor of inclusion this week. A special thanks to Mr. Print, whose complimentary printed materials, they grace the tables that you sit at today. I also want to recognize our inclusion champions, whose names you see listed at your table on our slide presentation as well. And these generous people give Inclusion Saskatchewan long-term support so we can continue to be here for those who have intellectual disabilities. Let's give a big hand for our sponsors and all our inclusion champions this morning. Alrighty, folks, it's about 8.27 a.m., so I want to thank you so much for taking this morning uh, and taking the time to be with us this morning and enjoying the breakfast. And folks, have a fantastic day today. Thank you.